What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another, another Cascade Constructed. We made a couple changes to the previous life gain deck. This one's pretty cool, too. Uh, we took out the, the Dawnbreak Chaplains and the uh, Sealaways, and we replaced them with Conclave Tribunal and Resplendent Angel. We also fixed the mana just a little bit, so... Uh, can we cut green? There's really no reason to cut green because the Knight of Autumn is so good. Plus, you're playing a format where you get one match, so it's kind of hard to... Um, it's, it's nice to be able to just deal with um, enchantments and artifacts so easily. I mean, to be fair, like, you definitely could. You definitely could cut the green. Like, there's only two cards, right? But I don't know if it's necessary. Like, it just doesn't feel like it's super necessary. So we're going to go back here and enter this. And let's try it again. Didn't get a notification from Twitch. Only discovered the stream because I was going to watch someone else. Wow, that's rude. Is 7-2 drops enough? Uh, yeah. Maybe not. I don't know. I just work here. But the answer is obviously yes because we have this Johnny's Pride. But we're going to start with Glacial Fortress into Forest into Hinterland Harbor. This hand is great. We're on the play. Gasoline. You know how it is. This is how we do. I think any sort of green mid-range deck just... Uh, this may be presumptuous, but I feel like they just can't beat us. I saw no artifacts or enchantments in the last event. Yeah, that's true. That's true, but like... I mean, even if you don't have that, like, gaining four life is still pretty good. Is Tristani better than Teferi? Actually, it might be. Actually, it might be. Do you want a Hadana's climb? I think we just want to play Knight here as a 4-3. The Johnny's Pride Mate. Oh, Lavinia? That's very good. Alright, we're doing it. Put to Un Un Countaros. However, Teferi's just great. I think our I think our deck is actually just way way ahead of theirs. Oh, a jump! Oh, oh, dang it! I hate it when we hit the one drop. There are so many other casting cost cards. I really don't want them to double block Lavinia. As good as that, as good as that would be for these other guys, but this call for thanks for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it, buddy. Gigantosaur, pretty nice, pretty nice. I think we're just gonna win with Hadana's Climb, right? We play Hadana's Climb, it flips, this guy becomes an 8-8, then we just kill them. Yeah, I'm game. We can also just attack with everybody and we probably just win that way too because they block both here and then they take four or five. So yeah, this is just this is just game. Main phase in sight. Resplendent Angel. Oh god, this this is gonna be just just bonkers. Gain four. <laughs> trigger, 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 trigger. Oh man. Well, even if the deck isn't perfectly built, it's still pretty sweet. I hate having a Johnny's Welcome in hand. I'm going to keep this hand. I think it's still okay. I never I hate having slow starts against the red deck. Okay. 
a second shield mare. Uh, I am going to pay this because we can just play this guy. And if we draw a two drop, I don't really want to not have this in play. Lavinia probably should be banned, but she's also pretty easy to deal with. Like, the the red decks having to waste a shock on a Lavinia. Eh, it's like meh. All right, all right. They didn't play anything, so actually this is this is actually okay for us. If we can get another white source, I'm gonna be thrilled. Oh my goodness, that's all I ever wanted. And we can and we have double sphinxes in sight coming down. Yeah, this is actually great. I'm gonna. Oh, and it's a Lavinia. Jeez. No, she's definitely dead. They're just going to kill it. But, I mean, they don't get the, the, the Cascade if it's a non-shock. See, that's great. Because now they're going to Cascade in, like, a shock or, like, a one drop, and they're not going to get it, so. And we're back at 21. Avid Fiction, thank you so much for the, for the reset. Welcome back, buddy. I really appreciate it. It's a literal cascade every turn. Yes, every turn, the first spell you play cascades. That is just fine. We'll gain three more. <laughs> oh, man, I'm okay with it. And you get a shock out of it? Sure. We actually gain one. And then we get to play Sphinx's Insight next turn. So it's going to gain two, draw three, and Cascade. Yeah, that's gas. Just don't be a Johnny's... Just don't be a Johnny's welcome, that's all. Oh, it's going to be a night, boy! If they have a shock, it sucks, but... We're at 21, so I think we're at a point where we can actually just put the counters on this guy. That's pretty good. I want to cascade this French bread pizza into my <laughs> Well, that is an option. That is an option. You can you can you can do that. I will take I will take the damage. You're gonna get a one drop? Sounds good. Uh take action. Definitely take action. Um, we're gonna Sphinx's Insight here. Try to hit a, a non-land that deals us damage. And this is also better Cascade. You never want to lead with the one drop because that's gonna be your Cascade for the turn. Care. I think we're gonna pay two and just play a Johnny's Welcome here. We have two in hand. Like we have a four four and a four three. I don't think they're gonna be doing a lot of things next turn that really. Also, we have double shield mare in hand. We can play this untapped. Play two shield mares. We gain uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten life. So that's pretty good. Um, against the re against the non-red decks, I think Lavinia is more of a problem because you're the red decks aren't giving you that much value out of it. Like playing a lightning strike and getting a free shock out of it and then losing that shock is not fantastic. But yeah, this is all fine. You got it. More like a Johnny's Swolcom. Wow, <laughs> wow. Good times. See, so yeah, this is a look. This is a reason why we want the. Uh, do we have Conclave Tribunal? Actually, we can play Shield Mare. Uh, we can play Tribunal, and then yeah, we're probably just gonna play Shield Mare first. 
Dang it, a Johnny's welcome. I mean, I guess it's fine in this matchup, right? I probably just want to play the other shield mirror. I don't like. I kind of. I really kind of want to get rid of this. They have nothing going on, so. Like, explain how this deck actually beats in a Johnny's Primate that's an 8 8. I don't think it does. We're at 23. This is an easy attack here. Yeah. I'll be here all night. <laughs> tip, your, tip your waitress on the way out. I will take action every single time, my dude. You get shock again? Gotta love when they hit shock off their three drops. You got it. Take action. Yep, that's that's about the end. Man, three of Johnny's welcome really does it against these red decks. That's no joke. I will claim my prize. We're also just killing it. I don't know if you guys knew this, but we're just killing it. Oh, uh, this hand seems pretty keepable. Hopefully it's, uh, are we on the play? We're never on the play. Two drop? Uh, I'll actually take that. That starts the chain, so I'm okay with it. Shut up and take my money. Frank, I'm glad to catch you. Charlie Warren, thank you so much for the for the donation. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Your donation will currently go to supporting BioVisionary's flight here, uh, because she will be joining us on the 15-hour stream on Wednesday. So if you guys are on YouTube, if you guys are on Twitch, be sure to give me a follow or a subscribe because we'll be doing a 15-hour stream this coming Wednesday, March 6th, I think. Is that right? I don't know how dates work. March 6th, yes. We'll be doing a 12, a 15-hour stream. And um, hopefully you guys will be there. Did I see your email? Maybe. Oh, I definitely did. I definitely did. Yes, I actually started, so to make sure that I got a chance to respond to it later. I appreciate it as well. It was very long and it was very well thought out. Oh wow, look at this guy. We got a Conclave Tribunal for that guy though? Alright, so we're at 12. We can play this guy. We're gonna go to 10, but then we're gonna gain three. They have a see this is this is like a situation where they just have too much going on. Actually, we're gonna play this, we're gonna gain one. And if we hit, like, uh, I guess we can't hit a Knight of Autumn. Do we just want this on board? No, we actually have to have Shield Mare, right? Okay, sure. <laughs> I'm sort of a doctor. I'm kind of... Whoa, we're half... Oh my god. Badger, dude. <laughs> Oh, man. I appreciate the donation, but I really appreciate the pun. You are the king of dad jokes, my friend. You are the king of dad jokes. My god. Charlie and Badger, thank you guys so much. You are, uh... You're, you're supporting a good cause, which is a sweet stream. That's gonna last for 15,000 hours. 
Yeah, I was like, well, if I start at 2, we're going to be done at like 5 a.m. That seems a lot. So I guess we'll start at noon and be done at 3 a.m. That seems more reasonable. So they missed a cascade this time. I guess it's fine. Charlie, appreciate it, buddy. I will definitely keep on keeping on. It's all I can do. We, I feel like we have to get rid of this Arclight Phoenix. But we actually... I guess we can actually... Uh, yeah. There's a lot of damage to the us here. I'm not really thrilled about it. We're going to three here. Going to two. Going, going, go. Oh, I guess we're just dead. All right, seems good. Sometimes the red decks just outred you, I guess. I almost feel like we want a second planes in this deck. But see, the problem is we're not really, we're not really testing the deck before we jump into these queues. We're just kind of putting it together and then jumping in the queue and then just seeing how it, seeing how it pans out. This is just this is basically the testing. Badger is basically a professional donator and sub-gifter, yes. Um, I hope Badger is, like, secretly a millionaire in Australia. And, uh... And, uh, that's, that's just what I hope. Because it's good for him and it's good for me, so everybody wins. This hand is actually insane. Like, if they're not playing a super aggressive deck, it's really good. Binoculars, what's going on? Good seeing you. Yes, he's also the king of dad jokes in the stream as well. Biovision, he takes a, a very, very close second to the dad jokes. Well, that was good. Alright, so we're going to lead with Temple Gardenia. This, into, this on two and this on three is pretty good. I don't think we can actually lose this game, but you know what? Crazier things have happened. I've been informed that Badger's a koala groomer in real life. <laughs> that would be amazing. Especially if that is a lucrative career. I have the proper koalifications. Wow. That's incredible. That is incredible. Um, I think we're going to hit Resplendent here. Actually, Lavinia hits another one of these. Hmm. Yeah, I like Lavinia here, actually. It prevents any shenanigans next turn, and we get another... Never Happy Gamer, thank you so much for, the, for continuing the gift sub. Really appreciate it. You guys are great. You guys are just wonderful. What is happening here? They're playing a Resplendent and that's it? Okay, so that's pretty good. We have Conclave our, our Con Conclave Tribunalio though, so that's pretty good. So I think we play this. We'll have two creatures in a land, so if we hit another creature here, any creature one time, that's the best one we could have hit. So that's going to gain us two. The Angel is going to gain us two. And that's not going to be enough, unfortunately. Pretty sure we're gonna tribunal this guy. So what just happened? Oh, they, they played this, and then I guess they they hit, they hit cascaded into a Lava Coil, and they couldn't cast it. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty insane. Oh, man. Our deck looks pretty good. I 
Oh, a bright reprisal. A five mana next map. All right, so we're three one, three one. I'm liking it. I'm having a good time. If you guys are new to the stream, definitely feel free to follow or subscribe. Both of those things help me out, and I stream at least five days a week. Usually at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. Sometimes it's a little off, but usually that's the time, so... If you're watching on Twitch, you can feel free to do the same. This hand actually seems great. We're missing a second white, but uh, we have a 2-drop, a 3-drop, and a 4-drop. I will keep it, and again, we do not get to go first. <laughs> Lana or Elf. Adventurous Impulse. Ooh, that's actually kind of cool. Because it lets you just kind of figure out uh, what you want to... Uh... Sure. Yep, that was actually a great draw. So now we can go this into Hadana's Climb. I'm new here. Is this Pokemon? It is, actually. This is the new Pokemon game. It looks really good. This is the Pokemon Stadium that we're in right now, so you guys can get a good look at that. I like Lavinia against the green-white deck. This actually might just stick for the rest of the game. Rackval, thank you so much for the bits. Really appreciate it. I want to be the very best like no one ever was. To catch them is my real test. Denying cascades is my cause. Lavinia, a heart the truth. This is nice because uh, if we play Hedonis Cloud next turn, it starts to trigger and then Lavinia. Wow, they missed their own Lavinia. Our Lavinia prevented their Lavinia. That's basically a hate crime. Um, we're going to play Plains here and Hadana's Climb. Or we play Resplendent Archangel. I kind of like Angel here, but... Yeah, I like Angel. Um, I like Angel when it guarantees us a thing. This is actually going to put probably like a Johnny's Pride main into play, I bet. Nope, just the worst one. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. No attacks. I lost my case. Wow. I feel like this knight is actually going to destroy an enchantment. Presumably our Hedonis Climb, because I think that's stronger than our Johnny's Welcomes. Although our opponent's going to underestimate our Johnny's Welcomes at their own peril. Yeah, that's what I thought. We can also tribunal their history, which is not terrible. Like, because this, this these are all knights, so our blocking is not ideal at this point. One, two, three, four. Don't hit into Johnny's walk. Oh, shield mare is actually great. Thank you. It blocks all of these things. And if we had Resplendent Angel out. Pretty good. Actually, maybe we didn't care about that. I don't know. We could have gotten rid of one of these guys, I guess. Especially because if they had another knight, they get to kill this. And then get their history back. Maybe that's not great. What have we taken? 4, 8, 12? Like, I think we could have actually gone to 14. Lavinia just nugging all of their cascades while we cascade every turn is just pretty insane. Three, 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 two. This seems like a pretty easy block. Like, I don't see Shieldmare actually being targeted by them to, uh... To trigger its ability, so... Okay. I like it, but I also don't... Actually, we do, we do have the mana for it. Do we want to trigger this first? Um, probably, even though it makes this guy a little smaller, I think the amount smaller is not really relevant here. I think I'd just rather hit another two drop. Yeah, this is probably going to be busted. No, nope, decline. Actually, do we want that? We want, I think we do want to play this just because we gain the life from it. Yeah, we do want to play this actually, and we'll just we'll sacrifice this one. Uh, choose the permit you wish to keep. Yeah, so we gain two from this, two from the Angel, and two from the Johnny's Pride Maid, so. A 
As long as they can't deal with Resplendent Angel at instant speed, we are going to get a 5-5 five, five here, which is pretty cool. Or 4-4? Four, 4-4. Four? Four, four. I still accept. Hey, No attacks. Nice. Send me an angel right now. Rockvow, congrats for the thousand bits badge. Nicely done, my friend. Nicely done. I think we're doing well we just have to draw spells from here on out but even if we don't like we can still activate this gain a million and uh we're in pretty good shape so I think they've given up, which is why they're just like kind of running down the clock here, which is kind of weird, but. 197 down eight. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's going to the Biovisionary. Uh, it's going to the Biovisionary Flight Fund for this weekend, for this Friday, or this Wednesday, when, when we do our 15 hour stream, so. That was a good draw. If, if we're talking about drawing. Uh, If we're talking about needing to hit... The green is for uh, Knight of the Reliquary, Hedonis Climb. Which actually might not be relevant, to be honest with you. I mean, just not having an answer for Lavinia in this format seems like it's pretty bad. Well, sure. <laughs> oh man, all we need is one more life because we only have four here, which is unfortunate. I think they actually are gone right now. So we probably could have attacked Lavinia. They wouldn't have been able to block. And uh, we're doing good. Have I considered switching to Esper? Not really. But I mean, we're just trying to have fun. I haven't given it that much thought. So we're just kind of waiting this out. I agree. This actually is a pretty fun format. I feel like these uh, these interesting, like, these these modified formats, like the Greedy Draft or Cascade Constructed, they're kind of Magic Arena's way of putting, um, like, cube-type formats or Chaos Draft-type formats into Magic Arena. And I think, it's, I think it's going really well. I think it's a really good idea. And that's the end, as we all could have assumed. I think we're 4-1 right now, right? We are 4-1, so this is it. Win or lose.
Um, yeah, I like this hand. Turn one, hollowed fa Oh, we're on the play too? Oh, this is very good. Lavinia puts a second one into play, then we get, like, our curve is actually perfect here. This is great. And these are actually pretty short videos. Usually our draft videos and our standard videos are at two hours, so these are pretty quick. Like, we're going, we're, this is probably going to be under 40 minutes here, so. Oh, yeah. Another green deck and another Lavinia. This is nice. This is a great start for us, and it's a fourth land, so our hand is actually perfect. Sphinx's Insight is actually insanely good. You gain two life, you draw two cards, and you get to play a, a, a card that costs three or less for free. That look of disgust tells it all. What does that mean? <laughs> Are you referring to me reading your comment? Oh, man. I wish you could see the cards that get... I guess you can. These get exiled, right? Dryad, Druid, Tender Shoot, Dryad. So actually, when our opponents like play a one drop and flip through their whole deck, we can actually look at their deck. Oh, what are we playing? Shield Mare or Knight? I think we play Shield Mare because Knight is just uh, a little more versatile later in the game. Okay, that's insane. So it's going to be a 4-4. Four, four. It's going to be a 6-6. Six, six. And then it's going to be a 7-7. Seven, seven. Three mana, gain seven life, put a 7-7 seven, seven into play. Seems good. I imagine the game has just ended. The game just ended right now. <laughs> That's my theory. Because the red-green deck probably doesn't have an efficient way to deal with an Ajani's Pride mate. And we're at 27 life. Yeah. Yeah. A Rejuvenator. Oh, a lightning strike? Kill my shield mare. I'll gain three more life. And a Johnny's pride mate will be an 8 Seems good. I wonder where we're going to Sphinx's insight into. Could be anything. It's probably going to be with Johnny's welcome because that's, that's how we do. Yeah, we'll just play that actually. I don't feel like taking damage if I don't have to. Okay, that's a good one. Oh my god, dude. This is the gassiest ever. Oh yeah, 100% all attacks. <laughs> so, Resplendent Angel next turn would trigger this twice. Uh, we don't have enough to play Knight and Resplendent Angel to get to draw the card. But, depending on what this hits, I guess I can only hit a 2-drop, which is only going to be a creature... Which will trigger it again. So it's only we're only gonna gain four life there, not five. This is why I like the life the lifelink creatures with Resplendent Angel. So I think if you're gonna play this deck, just play some lifelink creatures as well. Like two twos or one threes. In before Star of Extinction. I mean, even if that happens, like... I mean, like, we're still in good shape, right? Yeah. I mean, we're probably going to play Knight of Autumn because I don't, want, I don't want to run out of a Resplendent Archangel if they do have Star of Extinction. But I can't imagine, like... Also, if they do play Star, they don't get the Cascade off of it, which is pretty interesting. Is this just like... Huh. Pump Spell? Well, that is a thing. the cards oh that's weird like you get to see them for a split second and they disappear that's fascinating um do we think they have star of extinction like is that really a thing that we're afraid of mm. 
Maybe. This is ridiculous. That is not a star of extinction. That might be your death. What are you cascading into? Lenor Elf? Mm, I see. Yeah, we can just conclave tribunal this guy. One, two, three, and four. This should be game, because you block here and then you just the other guys die. Unless you have lightning strike to kill this guy, which is a thing. I have followed and liked and subbed at least 50 streamers at this point, but even after a while when people in the different chats start to show themselves as who they are, I can with 100% say that your chat is the most awesome. The people in here are amazing. That goes out to... Dude, you are 100% correct. Uh, I feel awesome in here. Best chat ever. And if you need proof, just take a look at the Discord and we'll confirm it. Yeah, the, the Discord is amazing. And, like, it's really hard for me to keep up with it, to be honest with you guys. But like even that, even that being the case, like you guys have a, do a great job of like keeping it alive and like the community in there is super super sweet. I watched your Monday Horizon video early today. It was really good. Are you going to try and do more videos? Um, I do them occasionally. Whenever I have enough thoughts about something that I think is a big deal, I try to do those. But it's been actually really people have been really receptive to it, so I kind of feel like it. I should. I should do more. So they have one card in hand. I think. I think we're doing okay here. A Johnny's Pride Mage is casually almost outside of the range of a Star of Extinction. Hmm. Are you guys not are you guys not fans of that? You guys don't like that baby mask? <laughs> <coughs> Alright, so this is probably gonna be the end, right? Oh my god, really? I'm gonna hit another of Johnny's welcome. <clears throat> that still gives us uh, we play this, we gain four, and then we've gained six this turn. Since I don't get to catch all the streams live, I can serve myself more part of the YouTube community, so it made me feel special. Nice. That's good to know. I'm actually going to try to do them more often because they're very well received. You need to put on the green screen hat first so the baby mask just floats. Oh, God. No. And we get a 4 for Angel here, so that's pretty good. And we're also at 44 life. And we gain 4 more from this. Dear God. Also, now, uh, this Johnny's Pride Mate is outside of the range. 
of, <laughs> of Starve Extinction. So not an out anymore. That's pretty cool. All of our creatures are lethal. <clears throat> Gigantosaur? That's a good one. What did they cast, though? Oh, they cast the Gigantosaur, and the Elvis Rejuvenator was the, uh, the hit, so... That seems good. We're also at minute 41, so this video is not under 40 minutes, but it's close. Baby shark, do 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 mama shark. Yep, that's the end, because we have two flyers, they have one flying blocker, so. 5-1 with our life gain deck that is actually pretty busted. We basically broke the format, and I don't even know if the green is super necessary. You might be able to, might be able to play black or uh, red. Let's see what they got. An uncommon. Ah, oh, Thorn Lieutenant. That's a solid dude. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can check the description for both the deck list, and you can hit me up on Twitch and Patreon. Please do those things. You can give me a follow or a subscribe on Twitch. You can give me a dollar on Patreon. One dollar a month. That's basically nothing. You set it and you forget it. And if you guys want to check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore, you'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. So hopefully you guys do that. Because if you really need that product anyway, if you really need new new boxers, new onesies, because uh, everybody needs a new onesie, then you can check that out. It's a great it's a great deal for you guys. And uh, I get a kickback, so it's a cool it's a cool little uh, a little arrangement. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.